Hey, it's that time again. The man who teaches you the alphabet is teaching you the alphabet really, really slowly. And that's right. So far, we have gone through all of the A's on the Hoi 4 A to Z challenge. And this will be our final one. That's right. It's been quite the journey already. And we are nowhere near the end. <laughs> so uh, I hope you've all been enjoying the series so much. And if you have, leave a like and subscribe button down below. Glad to bring you some fun content. And today we are going for the amazing Austria game, which um, I don't know if I've ever probably played Austria outside of maybe the first few months in a mod or in some other like old history months. But in Vanilla Hoi 4, there's a reason you don't play Austria. That's because they immediately get eaten by Germany. But today's mod is actually one, as you can see here, that tries to revitalize the Austrian gameplay. So there is some um, actual gameplay. But before we get too much into it, here's a quick word from today's sponsor. Today's sponsor, Warpath. On this channel, we are all about the historical strategy, which is why I'm bringing you today's sponsor, Warpath, the authentic real-time World War II strategy game. Warpath is inspired by real historical events from European battles in World War II. As such, there is a variety of historical units you can use on the battlefield. From the French Sharp E1 heavy tank to the right the Russian Katusha. You can even go as far as to customize your Katusha to the specific needs of the battlefield. And when you've gone ahead and selected the specific units you want to use, go ahead and control them in real time on the battlefield. That's right, Hans. Welcome to the Battle of Moscow. Meet my Katusha. I went ahead and created a global alliance so you guys can join me and together we can use the power of Katusha to blow the enemy to kingdom come. And from the frozen landscapes of the Battle of Moscow to the D-Day landings, this brand new update allows you you to take control of this historical battle and win it the way that you see fit because you are in command now. Now on top of that, if you go ahead and get yourself involved with Warpath today, not only are you supporting the channel, you can go ahead and click my specific link down below and enter yourself into a giveaway for very cool prizes. That's right, invite your friends to play Warpath, you might have a chance to win a PS5, Switch or Amazon gift card. Just go ahead and click the link in the description and get started today. And on top of that, use my code shown on screen right there get yourself a whole bunch of in-game rewards to help you get started today so go ahead use the link in the description down below and thank you very much for sponsoring the video warpath so yes thank you very much warpath for sponsoring the video and let's get straight into it shall we so here we are in the federal state of austria led by a man who definitely doesn't have any ill intentions maybe that's a lie well this is definitely me when i'm playing hoi 4 Am I right, guys? So, I read the mob description pretty briefly just to check what is and isn't in there. And as you can see, we have quite a flushed down focus tree, but some of the paths aren't done yet. But I don't want to do the one that just makes us into Austria Hungary. Because later on, when we get to Hungary, that's the only real fun path they have. So. We're gonna hopefully try and do, do something a little bit different. Uh, uh, we'll have to look first off, though. The great Austrian economy must begin. It's roaring already. Uh, I say roaring. More a purr from an asthmatic kitten. So there's not a lot we can do at the moment. In fact, there's nothing we can do at the moment. We must just simply go down our main focus here and hopefully get somewhere that doesn't require us being killed by Germany. And uh, we only have the one path because the mud isn't finished yet, but the, the path we can do, go down is pretty flushed out and there's no Austria Hungary. So it's pretty good. Uh, like I said, I could have got a complete mod, but uh, this is the most up to date one on the workshop. And like I said, I don't want to see Austria hungry for the millionth time already. It was a failed state, guys. <laughs> Just get over it. <laughs> so first thing first out of all of this is that we should probably secure our independence, which unfortunately the only other person historically that wanted to do that was the Italians. Yep, we're relying on Italians. Uh, even though we are currently going to be friends, Italy, don't think I've forgotten about this one. Ah, uh, Italy accepts our friendship. We, we, we wrote a letter saying, please be my friend, and they accepted formally. Oh, my giddy aunt, as one man would say. The British economic sanctions have kicked in for me getting rid of my treaty from World War One. you know, but uh, I don't give a damn. I'm cool. I'm fly. I... I look like I step on squirrels. So we have the opportunity to keep our alliance with Italy. Uh, not that we have one, but we could get one, I should say. Or we can say, screw that and do our own type of deal. 
I'm gonna do my own type of deal. Don't trust the Italians. Uh, in the meantime, too, I'm also justifying on the Hungarians because we get a pretty nifty uh, war goal reduction time, which I'm gonna take as much advantage of before I can get murdered by the Germans. Alright, so I pushed back the invasion because we were in no position to fight. We got two tanks from a Focus, and it's not really, uh, yeah, that's probably not gonna get us too far. And, um, well, I guess we're gonna have to try this again with the Hungarians. Uh, yeah, our, our troops are absolutely crud, so we'll just give it a go again. If not, uh, we might have to rethink our little strategy here. See if I can just pin everything and push with the tanks and the Mountaineers. Uh, yeah, it's going a lot better with the tanks now and the mountaineers which we both got through the focus so let's try and do a bit of meme here Messy, but uh, not my best work, but we'll take it, we'll take it. Oh, I didn't realize we just got a ton of guns from them as well, which is absolutely delicious. Uh, I would have liked a little bit more time before I declared war on the Czechs, but we're at 33% world tension now, and there is a high chance the Allies could, you know, guarantee them, so we, we just gotta go in. I'm uh, just gonna do the logical thing and try and get them torn in two with my little tanky tanks down here, and Mountaineers, which are uh, pretty much the fighting force of my entire army. The rest is pretty dark crap. Uh-oh, I just shot, yep, the Munich agreement just happened. We gotta speed the hell up! I uh, went down my phone Focus to get the greatest faction of all time, me, Spain, Portugal, and Poland. And uh, Poland obviously got declared war on by the Germans, <laughs> and uh, should I join? We'll just see what happens if I join, but I get the feeling it's probably not going to go well. Yeah, they, they also got the Italians, which is the problem, and uh, the Polish are obviously getting pushed. Yeah, well, just we'll just do a push. Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's... Uh... That's pretty much what I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, we, we just don't have enough manpower or men on the front to secure this, and um, we, we held against the Italians one-on-one, -on -one, but uh, with the Germans combined, we are mincemeat. Yeah, uh, sad thing is you're pretty much locked out of all your expansion, sadly, because you have to do them through war, and um, yeah, well, <laughs> the Allies see to that one. Uh, we got an option to get Switzerland through a um, demand, but unfortunately they said no as well, so we can't really do like any of this cool stuff stuff, so I guess we'll just wait around. And there goes, there goes Poland. Um, it was nice seeing you around. The only play I could think of doing was declaring war on Romania and going to war with the Allies, okay? And I did it. But that's because I got Tsar Boris in my faction, and his head brings me good luck. Let me rub it, Boris, come here. Yeah, I, I would have preferred not to go to war with the Allies, because I'm not going to be able to do anything about that. But you know what? Here we are. You can't have everything you want. There you go, with Romania down. We're also going to take out the Yugoslavs and get to work on that one as quickly as we can. I don't think Spain's joined the war against the Allies, because... Well, apparently they're smart. Well, if that ain't the best looking Austria you you ever done seen. Okay, the British are also beating up my ally. Uh, is there any way I can help there? Uh, this game is going to hell, so I might as well help it get there quicker. Everything is going to hell. Yeah, this is, this is all going to hell very quickly. There must be a better way to do this, right? There's got to be a better way. All right. Speed run time. This time we're bringing in the Italians, hopefully, if they accept. There we go. Now we're gonna make them do all the heavy lifting. All right, so this time around we invite the Polish in first. I'm gonna try this partition one instead, and hopefully we, um, well, we just get it. Please, for the love of God, do not make me fight the Czechoslovakians. I'm clearly in no spot to do so. Thank the Lord. That's much better. Right, let's also do the partition Yugoslavia, and hopefully we get something there, and uh, it doesn't all go to Italy or something. Uh, you, know, you know what, Germany? You're cringe, okay? Stop being so cringe. Okay, nice. I don't know how this is gonna go. We did not get... Wait, we got these... Oh, we got we got Croatia as a puppet. It'll do! All right, we've uh, been here before, Hungary. It didn't go too well for you. All right, let's see how this goes with all my buddies. Uh, yep. I don't even think I needed my buddies for this one. It ain't pretty, but it's all we got going. You know what? I think we might be uh, good enough to just go for the Germans right now. 
Uh, the Italians got a pretty beefy army. I have a terrible army, but together we might be able to get somewhere. Oh, yeah, plus we have the Serbian Empire on our side. Can't forget about those bad boys. Yeah, this way is definitely much better because I just got these guys as cores, which means I got a ton of manpower and all my 20 whiffs are now filled up. And look at that. I got a whole factory already in 38. I think we're going trading on the Germans. I mean, you do have to ask yourself a what cost though. And it means I'm having to work with the cringe Italians and Mr. Baldy, which, uh, I'm not too happy about. I'm sorry any Italian fans out there, I love you, but it was just a very embarrassing time for you, wasn't it? Like, I'm doing my focus to get Bavaria now, and uh, the Italians are all getting ready, the Poles are getting ready, we're gonna dominate them! Alright, I hope you're ready to party! Alright, we're not gonna do any pushing, we're just gonna let the uh, Italians and the Poles- Oh, thank you for the 39 support equipment, we're gonna let them do all the work for me. And then we will strike once they look weak enough. So, uh, to orchestrate a push from the Italians, I had to actually do a push, which, um, it's cost me a lot of men. But, uh, I noticed a little empty slot here. And, uh, I'm just going for a little march through Germany. Oh, they finally got me. Alright, endlessly attacking them did well. We've, we've pushed enough that I'm pretty confident they won't be able to come back anytime soon. But it's cost way, way too much manpower that we cannot afford to lose. So we're gonna wait a little bit longer, create some actual divisions, and try again. Oh, I've taken enough land from Germany now. I could do Greater Austria. Damn, look at that. It's really... Great! Alright, the front has, um, unfortunately had to be stalled because the Romanians joined, but, uh, unfortunately for them, I just got my tanks out! Uh, you know, just give a little bit of a practice run while we, um, get ready for the Germans. Oh god, things are just gonna hell. Okay, Bulgaria joined, that's the thing, and the Soviets declared war on Poland, so... We're gonna have a bigger front to deal with any minute now. Right, okay, that's Romania down. Just gotta deal with Bulgaria now, which is fine. And uh, I have started offensive in Germany again, because I think their troops are all, yep, they're all flown into Poland. And Bulgaria Bulgarians made the common mistake of not garrisoning that little one province with the uh, river there, which means my tanks can just flood right in and cause some chaos. Ugh, we just do not have the manpower for a two front war. And uh, I can't push both at the same time, so we're just gonna hold the Bulgaria ones send the tanks over here and hopefully finish off the Germans. Oh my god, is that a- is that an Italian naval invasion? Okay, we gotta support that! Alright, this gotta be the last push now. I've got 23 divisions and 6 tanks. The Italians have turned back up, but they're, um... Did they- did they join on the Soviet? They did. They're probably fighting the Soviet. Oh my... Thank you! Okay, okay, now that I have all of Germany... We don't look too bad. I also have Romania as a puppet, but we need to save our ally Poland. And uh, because Italy actually did somewhat of a job, I don't know if it was a good one or not, if that naval invasion helped, but they definitely helped the line, so that's all that matters. I gave them Bulgaria and Greece and all the stuff down here. I don't care. I got Germany. I, I sent the damn Prussians back to where they belong. All right, but with this, we need manpower so we can spit out some troops before we go to all the Soviets, because that is going to be a messy one. A hell of a messy one. I was just uh, sitting around, building up, and Switzerland actually submitted this time. So we got these guys too. We're, we're looking pretty good. Yeah, I'll do that because we've got all these states caught in the south now. We can't get the north, unfortunately. We've got tons of manpower. I'm just pumping out the visions and we're going to beat the Soviets up. But I realize they're, um, they're also at war with the Allies who have beat Japan. So now Japan's in Crimea. Uh, you know, I might as well just join the war anyway because um, uh, I don't want the, the Allies getting all the fun. And you know what? I'm going to call in my puppet the Prussians just to see how they do. Uh... Yeah, yeah pr probably not too well because of that one. That's right, Poland. Took us a couple years, but we're here to save you. Maybe. You know, I'm not too happy about this. Um, but I am always happy to see a giant Poland. All right. I have no idea how I'm going to divvy this stuff up. I mean, it's not the best thing in the world. But I, I guess it makes sense from who was owning what. But, um, yeah. What the hell, America? Uh, I also want to note I was going to give uh, this area to Japan. Accidentally gave it to Poland, which is just even more funnier to me. And, uh, yeah. Danish Mongolia. Sometimes you just gotta do it. And, of course, because I did all the, all the war, uh, pretty much, and killed all the Russians, I get the Russians as a puppet, which is great! 
but we're not done yet. First things first, just gonna yoink that from you, and see you later, Mussolini. Now, you know what? They may or may not have been a great help to us, but they're also a great burden by existing. So we'll take care of that. Uh, is it kind of sad? Yes. But... Don't worry, they'll be back. Stronger than ever, and a part of my empire. Well, I've, um, just completely overrun everything in the mainland. And it's not looking too good over here either, but I don't know why they've stacked their army so much over here, to be fair. There you go, they're still alive. Partially. And would you look at that. I even put the Pope in charge. You know, now, it might not be the most prettiest thing in the world, but damn. It is quite great! Uh, we also... put a very shady man in charge of Serbia. <laughs> you know, the craziest thing about all this is that there are so many focuses that I just straight up haven't done yet. And, uh, I, there's probably a million and one ways you could actually do this Austria game. And, uh, I recommend doing it diplomatically, because as we saw from the first one, uh, going guns blazing didn't really go too well. Um, although I say Diplo, it's more like just, you know, sharing. Uh, sharing is caring in this mod, and uh, I do recommend checking it out, because I, on that second run, it's actually really fun. Kind of RP, um, which is nice sometimes, you know? Oh, okay, well, I literally just get a focus to steal the Italian Navy, which is just... Oh, that is juicy! Uh, so yeah, we could carry on and keep uh, conquering the world, but uh, there's really no point. I'm kind of happy with where we left off. We, you know, could take China or something, or the Allies, but uh, I don't really fancy doing that because uh, late game allies war not fun oh uh, yeah this is pretty goddamn fun mod i highly recommend you check it out everything will always be linked in the description down below for these holy four hsz mods and uh, if you've been enjoying them like i said um feel free to leave a like and subscribe button down below and leave a comment and let me know because um i've very much been enjoyed checking out these little mods and uh the challenge in general it's very fun uh, I will try and not do too much Hoyle once though, because I don't want to get burnt out, and I don't want you guys to get burnt out either. So, yeah. Ah, but from me and the greater Austrian Reich, um, I'm going to go ahead and call it quits for today. And uh, we are finally out of the A's, which means when we come back... Oh, it's Belgium time. <laughs>